Hey everyone out there, it's Roberto Mickey again, and we've got a great video today on a left long finger retinacular cyst aspiration. A retinacular cyst is a type of ganglion cyst that can be found on the flexor or palm side of the hand anywhere along the flexor tendon sheath. A retinacular cyst, like any other ganglion cyst, is a fluid filled sac, and that fluid is made of concentrated synovial fluid, usually from the flexor tendons. The treatment options for retinacular cysts include observation, aspiration, or excision. Observation is an option in many patients because these cysts often rupture with just normal activity. By the time most patients make it to my office though, they've had the cyst for quite a while and it's usually painful. So usually when they come to my office, we give them the option of aspiration right there and then in the office. This video details an aspiration of one of those cysts. The third option is an excision of the cyst. And usually this is reserved for patients who have failed a previous aspiration or just don't want to have an aspiration for whatever reason. Plug for the channel, hit like and subscribe and help out our channel so that we can continue making these videos. So before we get to the video demonstrating the actual aspiration, let's talk about the anatomy. And this drawing sort of details some of that information. This is a sagittal view or a view from the side of the finger and the structures in blue are the bone. The green is the flexor tendon sheath or the sock that covers the flexor tendon, which is in orange. And the reddish color is the skin. The palm side is to the top and the back side of the hands to the bottom. So next we're gonna put our cyst, which is this purple little dot. So typically for an aspiration, we will spray the skin with this cold spray and then prep with an alcohol prep and then place a needle represented in this picture by the light blue line. So typically for this operation or procedure, I'll use a 25 gauge needle and I'll palpate the cyst and then place the cyst between my left thumb and left index finger giving my brain a little bit of localization of where the cyst is. Then I'll pass the 25 gauge needle between my two fingers through the skin of the patient and then into the cyst. Usually I'll hold it there in the cyst and squeeze with my other fingers and that drives the fluid usually into the needle. And then I'll remove the needle. Most of the time the cyst is decompressed at this point in time and the needle is filled with a little bit of that fluid. And then you can eject that fluid and you'll see it in the video and show the patient what was inside the cyst. A quick viewer discretion, this video does show images from a surgery, so if you don't want to see the inside of somebody, please click away. Oh, he's okay, man. Frío, 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 okay? Yeah. Para que no siente la... La aguja. No mira. No, no, si quieres mirar, está bien. Oh, ahí se va a arder, está muy frío. No, man, es okay? Uno, dos, tres. Yeah, se explotó. Ya hay un montón de líquido dentro ahí. Ok. ¿Quieres ver la, el líquido? Yeah. Está dentro de la jeringuilla. Okay. Lo sigo aquí. Mira. Hay como, hay como, gel, hay como gelatina ahí. Oh, wow. <risa> Okay, hope you enjoyed and thank you for watching. 